Um, oh, my goodness. Chuck Schumer, the senator from New York. Oh, what a bad, bad boy he was. You know what I'm talking about. Yesterday, he uh, he stood outside the Supreme Court and, and surrounded by all sorts of uh, uh, supporters who believe that a woman has a right to uh, control her own bodily functions, for fuck's sake. What a radical idea in the year 2020, right? Eh? Eh? So there Schumer, uh, Schumer is, and he opened his mouth and stuck both feet in, along with his ass, anything else that was handy, boom, right into his mouth. Come on, Chuck, for Christ's sake. In the age of Trump, you don't say what you said yesterday. Because there are ghouls and vultures and these right-wing demons just waiting for a Democrat to say anything that the Republicans say as a matter of course. But Democrats don't pounce. These filthy Republicans do. So anyway, Schumer was out there <clears throat> and he said the following. I want to quote, I want to tell you, Gorsuch, Gorsuch, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh. You have released the whirlwind, and you will pay the price. You won't know what hit you if you go forward with these awful decisions. Okay. We can certainly agree, I can anyway, with the spirit of what Schumer was saying. I mean, enough is fucking enough already. How much of this shit are we normal people supposed to put up with? It just keeps rolling and rolling and rolling. And it all comes from the top of that filthy volcano where, where that insane orange-haired fucker lives, Donald Trump. And he just rolls the shit out, just day after day, just rolls the shit down the sides of the volcano. And waiting at the bottom are all kinds of little bastards like Sean Hannity, just ready to pick it up and, oh, ah, yeah. And tweet it and talk about it and televise all over the fucking world, right? But if a Democrat loses his, loses his control for just a moment, oh my God. Now, as far as Chief Justice John Roberts' reaction to it, I think it was appropriate. I think anything that came from the justices or from the Supreme Court in response to what Schumer said was appropriate. But not from these little turds like Sean Hannity and the rest of these people who don't give a fuck about the Constitution or law or justice or decency or dignity. They don't because they don't have any. But for them to pounce on Schumer's word. What a bunch of bullshit. Justice Roberts took the rare step of publicly scolding a senator. And according to the Washington Post, in a statement, Justice Roberts denounced Schumer's comments as, quote, inappropriate and, quote, dangerous and adding, quote, all members of the court will continue to do their job without fear or favor from whatever quarter, end quote. Now, Schumer apologized today, Thursday, on, on the floor of the Senate after that little filthy pig turtle-looking bastard Mitch McConnell went after him. That's what I'm talking about. McConnell and the rest of these little trolls, they just wait for something like this that they can get their teeth and their fangs into. And that's why every single Democrat, a progressive, whatever you want to call them, of any kind of prominence should just step back. Let these son of a bitches roll around in the owl shit that they have created. Let them do it. The focus right now is to get either Biden or, or uh, Sanders elected and remove this orange fucker from the office and send him back to his gangster life from whence he came. 
not making statements that require the Supreme Court justice, U.S. the Chief Justice, the U.S. Supreme Court, to come out and reprimand the minority leader of the Senate of, of the Senate. And like I said, I think Roberts was well within uh, his rights to do so. Warnings that judges, which, which is what Trump does all the time. Of course, the hypocrisy and the double dealing and the double standard here uh, just kicks you in the fucking face before you have a chance to even hear the whole story. Because Trump, excuse me. I might be getting the coronavirus. Trump attacks the judiciary every chance he can get, just like he attacked it, attacked the legislative branch. Trump is a dictator, and he's hamstrung because he's a dictator within the, the, the constraints of a democracy, and he's trying to chop those fucking ropes off so that he can just be a dictator. So for Trump to attack the court, the federal court system, or the state court system. It's what dictators do. Schumer should not be making comments like that. I mean, Jesus Christ, um, that the Supreme Court members will pay the price, won't know what hit them. What the fuck? Come on, Chuck. And then a spokesman for Schumer made it even worse. This guy, Justin Goodman, argued that the words didn't mean what they sounded like they meant. Ah, uh, come on. Stop it. They meant exactly what they sounded like. And, and this Goodman said the words were, quote, a reference to the political price Senate Republicans will pay for putting these justices on the court and a warning that the justices will unleash a major grassroots movement on the issue of reproductive rights against the decision. Bullshit. Bullshit. We know what, what Schumer said. We know what he meant. And we share, I share the feelings that Schumer had that, that came out in his his misplaced attack on the Supreme Court justices. Fuck them. It's Mitch McConnell. It's the Senate. They're the ones that confirmed to put these two clowns on the Supreme Court. When Trump has criticized judges, critics have accused him of attempting to intimidate the judiciary. But that's something Trump does on a regular basis. Anybody who messes up his little playpen, Trump's little unreal playpen, is going to feel the wrath of this goddamn four-year-old. Come on, Chuck. So the dust-up over, over Schumer's comments now is about hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. According to the Washington Post, some uh, in the liberal media did indeed condemn Schumer. Well, I'm not in the liberal media. I happen to be a democratic socialist. I guess I could be called a, a, a liberal. I don't know. So I'm criticizing him. But Chris Hayes, MSNBC, tweeted, quote, having watched the Schumer clip a few times, it was really out of line. Not just the... Uh, not just for normal reasons, but also because idle threats are dumb and expose impotence. End quote, Chris Hayes. So true. Chris Cuomo over on CNN <clears throat> said, quote, Look, I know Trump says the same crap. That's why it's wrong. You're just not helping by appearing to threaten justices. If you act like what you oppose, how are you any better? And that's not go high when they go low. That's reality. End quote. Thank God I am not in the media. <laughs> thank God I can say whatever. Thank dog. I can say whatever the fuck I want.
And I'm not like Michelle Obama. When people go low on me, I try to go lower. <laughs> I, I go for the basement. <laughs> and then Chuck Schumer's spokesman, this, uh, what's his name, Goodman? Um, Justin, Justin Goodman said basically the same thing. Goodman also said, quote, for Justice Roberts to follow the right wing's deliberate misinterpretation of what Senator Schumer said, it wasn't a misinterpretation. While remaining silent when Trump attacks Justices Sotomayor and Ginsburg last week shows Justice Roberts does not just call balls and strikes, which is what Justice Roberts, it says many times, is his job. He's the umpire. He calls balls and strikes. Yeah, horse shit. Um, and aside from, from that, that mild little rebuke of, of 2018 over Trump's uh, uh, frequent references to Obama judges, when Roberts said there are no Obama judges or Bush judges or Trump judges, that is true up to a point. The point is Trump. In the first place, Gorsuch has no fucking reason, no legitimate reason for being there. He's only there because Merrick Garland, who, whom uh, Obama appointed a year before an election, his nomination was held up by this turd son of a bitch, uh, uh, what's his name, McConnell. And as far as, as the other one, Kavanaugh? That drunk, raping motherfucker? Are you kidding me? Jesus, bleeding Christ. I like beer. I, like beer. I love beer. Nothing wrong with beer. Doesn't everybody drink beer? Rah, rah, rah. Beer. Beer, beer. Jesus, God. Woo! Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. You have your choice. You can listen to the ranting with the audio podcast or listen and watch me lose control with a video podcast subscription. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com. And never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.